Okay, so we have an example of a problem here where you have an object that is hanging from a ceiling with two different ropes. Um, those ropes are holding it up with tension. Um, and I'm going to jump right to your last question here where you ask if we can use vertical and horizontal components. And that's exactly how we're going to do it. We're going to look at it from the perspective of what forces are acting on the block itself on the object and then figure out what those forces have to be. So first we need to have our force vectors laid out here. So you have tension going this way, tension going this way and then the force of gravity going downward, okay? And these forces can be broken into components. So if we take this one, we'll see that we have a vertical Y component and a leftward horizontal component, whereas here we have a rightward horizontal component and a vertical, um, vertical component, upward component, sorry. So in our equation, then, we have a sum of forces in the x direction and a sum of forces in the y direction. Now, the angles here, this 45 degrees, alternate interior angles would tell you that this is also 45. And then since this is 30, this is also 30. The tension, call this T1 and this T2, is the hypotenuse of these triangles. So the x force here, T1x, as you can see, it'd be cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. You rearrange it slightly and you'll see that the sum of forces going one way is cosine for T1x. It's also cosine for T2x, but one's going right and one's going left. If you say right is positive, T2x is the positive one. So we would have T2 cosine theta, cosine 30 specifically. And then here you would have T1 cosine 45. Okay, and because this thing is not moving, it is also not going to have any net force that's occurring. So just a second. So that sum of forces equals zero. Now, for the sum of forces in the y, we have our downward 60 newtons. We also have the upward portions here, which is T1y and T2y. Now, just like cosine worked for the x components, sine is going to work for the y component. So sine of, sine of the angle, 45 in this case, is going to be T1y over T1. You rearrange it, and you'll see the relationship that we want. Both tensions are going upward, so the two tensions are going to be positive. So we have T1 sine 45 minus t oh plus sorry they're both going upward t2 sine 30 minus the 60 to 60 newtons because we have that downward force occurring so then you have t2 cosine 30 minus t1 cosine 45 equals zero t1 sine 45 t plus t2 sine 30 minus 60 you now have two unknowns, T1 and T2. So let me type that out. T1 and T2, it's then just a system of equations that you can solve. I would recommend solving for either T1 or T2 in this equation, then subbing it into this one and solving for the one that you have. So maybe solve for T2 here, T2 equals, it would be T1 cosine 45 over cosine 30, substitute it in, rearrange the algebra, solve for T1. Then solve for the other one once you have that relationship. Okay, yeah.